All right, you guys, let's go to the first time one. Create a box. It's pretty simple. Let's create a box. It's pretty big. Uh, click on six on your keyboard. Right click. Get to face. Select one. Delete it. Click on delete on your keyboard. Select the other one. Click on delete on your keyboard. Um, so you end up with something like that. All right, you're going to delete also that one right here. <coughs> you're going to make a ball that's half the size, pretty much, of that. A violin, I think that's a wood. Oh, you know, so you move it up like that. That should look pretty good right here. And please do that. Okay, so now let's add some uh, some shaders. Let's create some shaders for those. So we're gonna go to window, we're gonna go to the rendering hyper shade right there. And we are gonna create two balloon shaders. Okay, so do one, two, and we are gonna rename those balloon shaders. Um, the first one we'll rename it room and the second one right click on it and you rename it ball all right so now we're ready with that we are gonna select the room and apply it to it for now and we're gonna select the ball and apply obviously the um, the ball material for now okay now our next move is to create a light okay now let's do that let's add a light um, a spotlight let's do the spotlight right here let's move it up you guys really high move it a little bit above all right and um right here and make it pretty wide all right so the cone angle will be very big we are gonna rotate it so it actually light up the scene. Okay, we might go up a little bit more. Right there. Let's do the render, that's the rendering right here. Yeah, it's getting lit, it's okay. All right. Now, uh, one thing you want to do uh, in the rendering options that's right here, kind of open the option for render. Uh, you can change the quality, so that's the type of file that's what you can get. Uh, it's a JPEG for now. In the mass software, you have the quality right here. Uh, you, know, you can change some custom to uh, production quality, for example, high sample. That's what you need to, to change for right now. And then you can render it a little bit better in quality. Uh, you can see right there, it's already there. <coughs> okay, now that's uh, all for the lighting. Now what we need to do is put um, an actual um, shaker texture on the walls. Okay, so let's do that. So let's go back to our um, hypershade. Uh, the one right here, the room one. So we're going to click that one. See it's option right there, which is not much. So we have two choice. We need to put uh, basically, a uh, shaker 2D texture, normal, all right, um, on the color channel. There's two ways to do it. I'll show you both ways. The easiest way is to click on the color and the attributes, and it's option right there, and select the shaker, all right. And you have the shaker. It's a little big uh, in the check area, so you need to basically in right here. In the hyper shade, uh, click on that and see um, the repeat of things, for example. And maybe we can put it to 12 for now. That's both ways. Use any of these, and you see it looks much better already. Um, it could be better than that. Um, so, uh, right now, if you look at it, in the attribute editor, it's a little blurry right here. Uh, if you go into the hardware texturing right there, um, in the hardware shading uh, right here, um, you can see a couple of things. Let's change. The, um, we have a balloon. Um, let's see. Let's go back to the keyboard. Uh, if I go into the hardware right here, it's much better in quality. Okay, you guys, my graphic cards. Okay, 
And if you render it, it might be okay too. So it's nice and tight. Okay. And let me uh, just bring the whole thing a little up so the grid doesn't bother us so much. you guys now let's do do um at the glass the glass one right okay so uh, let me remake a, a balloon that one right here and rename it ball okay well let's get going and let's uh, apply it to that ball right here that ball shader to it 